basically what I've got to do with this is upholster it. So I've got the foam, I've got the fabric. What I'm going to do first of all is measure this. Forty-five and forty-three. So what I've got to do is just mark it out. Now that is perfect. And then wrapping this material over, so when I wrap over the fabric, it'll be nice and soft. Because here, that edge is quite harsh. So now all I've got to do is use that as a template on my new fabric that matches up to this colour, cut it all out, sew it together, um, put it on and tack it all along, and then we put the chair back together. How are you, Will? Hey, buddy. You all right? Very good. How are you? After a favour. I'm about to paint the legs. Okay. And if I have this near where I'm painting, it will help me make sure I get to the right colour. The match up. No problem. Cheers, buddy. Okay. This is all sanded back, nice and smooth now, ready to be painted. The top has um, a lot more grain definition there, and I'm worried that if I just paint this base here red, um, it's going to look a lot brighter and not so much of a figure to it as a top. I'm going to put some stain on the bottom leg here, and then I'll put some paints going over both stain and the natural wood. That way I'll be able to find out if I need to stain the whole thing or if I can just go on straight with the paint. You can already see that it's bringing out the uh, pattern in the grain a lot more, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. It's a really thin coat of paint that I'm applying here with this rag, but it should be enough to give an idea of what it's going to look like. I'm going to leave that to dry once it has, and I can offer it up next to the top, uh, and then see what option I'm going to go with. I've got to get all the thread off. I don't want this to rip. I need it to be measurable. So that's how fragile it is. As you pull it, it's breaking away. And the thread is almost the same colour as the fabric. So my eyes are really being tested. Here, try these. <laughs> you heard me talking, didn't you, sir? Put them on first. These on first? Yeah. Wow. All right. Can you see it now? No, I can see it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. That's brilliant. This is why I love being in a workshop, because you've got teammates that just help you out. <laughs> it's perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Right, let's have a look. The bottom, where I put the stain onto, uh, shows up more of the grain. It's a lot closer to the top, which is great. I think if I stain the whole of the chair and add maybe two coats of red, I think we should have a perfect match. Now that is perfect. I'm really happy with that. Now that's one side. We've got three more sides to do. Job's a good one. 